Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Blowem Celtic for a certain year review. Well, we're in the year 2022. Uh, don't know what year this is generally, but this is going to be a full season review because I couldn't be asked to do anything in the middle. Um, yeah, so take you through the transfers we had first. Um, so ignore these three because those have just come in. Um, let's go with, uh, well, I think Ayanda Zockley. Came in, uh, our goalkeeper, very, very, very solid for us. Uh, came in on the free, along with uh, Nicholas Parker from FS Stars, the centre back. Um, Mbelolo Ndlovu, a attacking mid who is actually one of us, like has been our starting centre mid this season. Uh, centre attacking mid this season, he's been very good for us. Uh, and then Dan McKenzie from Sundowns. Um, we did have him on loan, and he, we had the option to buy him, so we did, and he's done very well this season. So that was a good buy from us. Then we also um, we bought a player for 24k. Oh, yeah, we brought um, Brian Shongwe in between that from Tux for 55k. Um, the 17-year-old now. He was 16 when we bought him uh, from Regen Day, basically. And he's very, very good. Um, then we bought uh, Isaac Chuwu, something like that. A 23-year-old Nigerian. Um, bought him from Kano Pillars for 24k. So that's a pr pretty good uh, bargain there. Uh, then, finally, we bought uh, Masao Leo. A uh, Japanese striker slash left attacking mid, which is had a very good season for us, to be fair, this year. Um, going out, we had um, quite a few frees. Then we brought, uh, sold Motsumi to Black Leopards for 40k. Um, been at the club for a while, but just wasn't getting the football, decided to sell him. Uh, Mziela, we sold for 29.5k to Maritzburg. Got him in on a free, loaned him out, wasn't good enough for us. Sold him for 30k, not a bad profit there. Um, then some more loans, and then we, this is probably even better, uh, Celo Zimu, we sold to, uh, Universidad Catolica, um, for 120k, so we brought him in for one season, he made 10 starts, 12 sub-appearances, and we sell him on for 120k, so it's not too bad from him there, um, then loans, some more loans, uh, then we sold, uh, Joseph Zwane to Wits for 20k, Another one of those sort of frees I brought in. Didn't really know the best players around, so he went out again. Um, and then actually, um, we sold uh, Karimov in the end. Um, we sold him to Al Jazeera for 725k, so very, very good profit there. Brought him in on free when we first came in. Um, made two seasons with us. Wasn't the best, to be fair. Um, yeah. And then they sort of came in with a 250k bid, and I said, give me 725 and you can have him, and we they just said yes, so that's a very, very good profit on my first Uzbekistan player, um, and then more loans, and then towards the end of the season, we sold Brian Mandela to uh, Son Yam for 170k, he was aging, wasn't getting in the first team anymore, only made two appearances, well three appearances for us uh, last season, and then went to Son Yam, uh, so yeah, then let's look through the fixtures, so we've got the whole season to go through, um, we had Stad Malien in the African Confederations Cup third round, uh, who were from Mali, beat them 4-1. Uh, then we had some friendlies, a big friendly here, 7-4 versus African Warriors, 4-1, uh, 3-0. Drew away 3-3, three, three. Um, and Benny with two there. Then we had the Super 8 quarter final versus Amazulu, 4-1 win. Um, then we had uh, Petro du de Luanda, um, who are from Angola, in the... Uh, African Confederations Cup Group A, uh, beat them 6-3, then we beat Super Sort 4-0, semi-final of the Super 8 Cup, 1-2-0 and lost 1-0 um, in home and away, so basically we went through 2-1 on, on aggregate. Then we drew to uh, Raja Casablanca uh, from Morocco, 1-1, which is really annoying, should have won the game, um, then we took on Black Leopards, then we had Kaiser Chiefs in our African Confederations Cup Group but we beat them 2-0 at home, which is good, because uh, Weo with both goals. Uh, then we played Orlando Pirates, beat them 2-1. Got revenge on Raja Casablanca, 3-1 there. Uh, Salmon de Gobe with 2. 4-2 versus Wits, 4-1 versus Maritzburg, 1-0 versus Tux. Pedro de Luanda, 3-1 home win. Then we beat Kaiser Chiefs uh, in the Super 8 final. I think this is the first time I've won it, so it was very good to get that on the board. Um, Salmon de Gobe. Masa Liao with two, and Kuzweo with a penalty to make it a bit more safe at the end. Then we actually lost them 3-1 in the 
in the African Confederation Cup uh, group. Um, I need to go back a year. Um, there we go. The group stage, there's Group A. Uh, we actually went through on goal, I think, head-to-head, because -head, we beat them 2-0, and they beat us 3-1. So we got the away goal against them, uh, which is pretty good there. Um, and that's what sort of took us through to the first sort of round there. Uh, then we, after that, we had the South African Kickoff Cup first round versus Wits, 3-1. Uh, 2 versus Golden Arrows in the league, and then 3 nil versus FS Stars. Then in the semi-final of the African Confederations Cup, we had a uh, FAR Rabat from Morocco, who I think are like the um, army team for Morocco. Uh, beat them 3-1, um, no, 3-0 three, three away, which is pretty good, and Lovie with 2. 3-0 against um, FC Cape Town in the league. Then we lost in the quarterfinals to Orlando Pirates of the Kickoff Cup. Really annoying there. 1-1. Uh, against FAR Rabat uh, in the semi-final to make well to take us through actually 4-1 on aggregate uh, one nil against Platinum Stars uh, one nil loss uh, to Amazulu and then the African Confederations Cup final we had Kaiser Chiefs again we lost one nil away um, really really annoying they dominated the game um, but was that a good only a one nil loss two nil versus Swallows and then we beat them five one in the second leg I wanted to um, Live comment, but it just didn't come up, and I just thought might as well get through it. Um, and I played it, and it was just ridiculous. Uh, Delimiani, Kuzweo, and Zaba with the goals there to give us a 5 2 win on aggregate and give us the African Confederations Cup, which is another Europe, like another continental cup to my name. Uh, then we played Ajax CT, 2 1 win, 2 0 versus Kai's Chiefs, 2 friendlies, 3 0 versus Sundowns, 2 0 versus uh, Supersport, 6 0. Versus um, Black Leopards. 2-1 versus Wits. Orlando Pirates beat 1-0. Then Maritzburg 3-2. 1-1 draw with FC Cape Town, which was quite annoying. And then a 1-1 draw with Tux, which is also annoying. Then we um, were already on starting our Champions League um, games from win the league last year. And we had Costa uh, de Sol from Mozambique. And we beat them 9-0 at home. Um, pretty crazy. And Lovi with 2. Zaba with 2. Potosi, Liao, uh, Izuchuku, Kizweo, and Goad all with goals there. And then we um, started the South African Cup versus African Wanderers, beat them 2-1. Sundowns in the African Super Cup, which is like the, con the charity shield. Um, we beat Sundowns 2-0. Mari Maholo with both goals there to give us the win, and another cup win. Amazulu was 2-0. Costa uh, do Sol, 4-0 away to give us a 13-0 aggregate win. Golden Arrows was 6-2. FS Stars was 2-1. Old Mutual FC in the South African Kickoff, not Kickoff Cup, the South African Cup, 5-0. Um, Massalia with 4. Then we had um, Al Dad from Libya, actually. We drew 0-0 away, which is quite annoying, I think. We should have won that game. 4-2, though, against Platinum Stars. And then we won 2-0 at home uh, versus Al Dad, Dan McKenzie, Mara Maholo. Uh, that was the first round, so got through that. Swallows beat 4-0. South African Cup quarterfinal beat Swallows after that 5-1. Then we played Kai's Chiefs, beat them 2-0. Then we had uh, FC 105, uh, Football Cannon 105 from Gabon. Um, and we beat them 4-1 at home. 2-1 versus Ajax. And then we had the, F the South African Cup semi-final versus FS Stars 2-0. Then we beat FS, um, FC 105 5-0 away um, to take us through to the next round. 3-3 with Sundowns. Um, so that was the last game of the season. And then AXCT in the South African Cup final. Pretty easy affair. Beat them 3-0 um, with another league title, uh, cup title to our name. Then we've had some friendlies. Um, and actually I want to show you. Here's the league. We won it comfortably with five games to go. Um, 26 wins, three draws. Only one loss, which is pretty surprising. 75 goals for, 20 against, 81 points. I think we broke the record for most points um, played uh, stats-wise. I think our players are up there for average rating and assists mostly. Um, and then if we look at the awards, goal of the season, didn't go to us. Golden boot, didn't go to us. Uh, manager of the season, I actually won for the second consecutive year, which is pretty nice. Um, player of the season, went to actually uh, Kuzwea, the player I signed from, um, who was it now? Uh, Sundowns, who didn't deem him good enough as 
come good this year, definitely. Um, players player went to Massa Leo, who's had a very good game as well, uh, season as well. Didn't have a best season last year, but definitely this season has done well. Team of the seasons, we had um, five. We had uh, Degode, Potosi, Leo, Ndlovu, and Kuzweo in the team. And then young player of the season went to Degode. Um, he was actually only 23, which is pretty surprising. Um, but, yeah, so we've won a lot of stuff now. I'll show you the squad. We have a very, very good squad. We're getting bids from quite a lot of clubs from most of our players. So that's pretty good. If I show you the uh, stats of the players, look at that. Over the season, Zabba's played 46 games, got 29 goals. Because Weo, as a right winger, has got 28 goals. Leo's got 27. And then you've got, well, Degoe's got 16 as a centre back. And Lovie's got 15. Moran Mahola's got 14. Rhodes's got 9. Um, assists wise, because Weo's at the top. Look, 28 goals, 28 assists. Amazing. Uh, Leo's got 19. And Lovie's got 19. So does Zabba, 16 for Moran Mahola, and 12 for uh, Angelo Road. So, yeah, it's been it's been a good good old time for us. Um, let's have a look. I'll show you the. Well, if I show the history now, so now we've won one African Super Cup, one African Confederations Cup, two uh, South African Premier Leagues. Um, South, well, I think we won the South African FA Cup this year, and I think that was it. So if I show you my um, Hall of Fame, actually. Um, I am currently on 648. So look, if we look at that now, one Super 8, one African Super Cup, two Premier Leagues, two South African Cups, and one African Confederations Cup. Um, for nationalities, I'm actually up there. I'm above myself for my Lido team, which kind of shows in a few years I can do get, with only that many wins, I can get above 25 leagues and 47 Cups. But there we go, getting up there. Uh, trying to get close to Bob Paisley at the top, but I'm eighth at the moment. Got a good load of wins going. I got definitely won probably the most stuff with Blowham Celtic. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been amazing so far. Um, they're a very very good team, really good to play with. The only problem has really have been Kaiser Chiefs and Pirates. They haven't really they were the ones posing me a challenge. Um, but next year, um, we're in, we've got our Champions League group now, and for some reason we've got two other. South African teams with us. Look at that. We've got Kaiser Chiefs and Sundowns and Nishanga Rangers from Zambia. If you look at the other group, it's Al Ali, Cotton Sport, uh, Wider Casablanca, and Zamalek. So I, want, I would have wanted that group to be fair. Um, but at least I put out at least one South African team with this if I go through. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Or not game. Uh, this review. Otherwise, um, I hope you guys. But uh, we'll stick around for the next time. I don't know what I'm saying there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.